You want to give this a try, buddy? Hold on. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I am about to interview the man, the legend, Jay Cassidy. Okay. Can we can we move the, the children's mattress from the background? Did I see fishies on it? Oh no, those are hot air balloons. Hold on. Oh. Better. Uh, can we try a different angle though? Let me see what else is around. Like that white background back there. Can we do that? Hang on. That would require. Now you got to move the mattress again. Sounds perfect, Jay. This will work great. Excellent. But I'm not moving that mattress again. The legend, <laughs> the god of thunder, the sound Stop. of fury, thick bottom in, to Jay, the assassin, Cassin. Okay. I have a bunch of questions that have been generated by fans of the Sound of the Fury, family of the Sound of the Fury, and members of the Sound of the Fury. All I really want you to do is just answer these questions as honestly as you can. Is that doable? Sure. First question, what is your earliest memory of being aware of music? Um, being aware of music? Sometime in Topeka, Kansas, 1977, I'm gonna say. No kidding. What do you remember? My first concrete memory was having a suitcase record player. They only played like 45s or the smaller records. I think it was a John Brown had a little Indian. <laughs> How old were you then? I would have been right around three, I think. Wow. Next question. Where were you born? What's the story behind this? The story behind it would be my folks were Catholic missionaries and they administered to the Micronesian people. And headquarters to all that was the island of Saipan in the Marianas. My folks lived in Chalantanoa, but I was born in Garapan. So you technically weren't born in the United States. Not in the contiguous 50 states, no. Did that make you an island boy? No, 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 no. What languages have you fluently spoken? Uh, fluently? Nah, I can't say. Well, can we count Star Wars and Star Trek? Because I've heard you do those in the past. Uh, Top three bands, Jay. Well, I guess. The ones that have influenced me, by and large, are Kiss and Black Sabbath and ZZ Top, in that order. What instrument has been the most challenging for you? The instrument that's been most challenging for me has been the banjo. I still feel like a buck beginner. You know, the deeper and deeper I get into it, the more I realize I know so little about it. What show is the most memorable for you? The one that stands out in my mind the most is, it was June 11 of 2005, the Rockfest gig. Yes, sir. It was, it was one interesting morning. We almost didn't get to go on. Yeah, it was raining and getting muddy. They kept pushing it back. How many people were there? I have no idea, it was a lot. <laughs> I was looking out on a sea of people and thinking, oh my God, I." I've got to entertain all these people. <laughs> uh, it, it, was, it was almost euphoric. What are your thoughts about musical etiquette and tone? Musical etiquette and tone. <laughs> I, I, I can't make all right, let's get that one. Do you remember the time you picked up and literally lifted some random female fan on stage? What was happening there? I certainly remember McCarthy's because at the stroke of midnight, <laughs> it was my birthday. I turned 25. So some girl got up on stage and you just randomly hugged her? Well, yeah. <laughs> and I forgot to turn your bass down. Bass volume down. Felt like a horse's tattoo. It was obviously memorable because we're still talking about it today, so. Are you willing to talk about some of your magical abilities? Magical. <laughs> For instance, um, fire breathing or putting out matches on your tongue. How did you learn these abilities? Trial and error, mostly. 
I've got permanent rough patches in some places. I've never been brave enough to put a match out on my tongue. Do you remember what the match tasted like? Somewhere between fine grit, dirt, charcoal. You want to tell us about bathing in a river in Iowa? I don't know what there is to tell. I was feeling nasty and sweaty from the night before, so I took a bottle of shampoo with me and tried to get all the funk off. It didn't work, and I wound up cruising into the next gig smelling like a fish. <laughs> What's your fondest memory of living in a van for many years? Knowing that we were on our way somewhere. We definitely were on our way somewhere. Knowing that we had a destination and a mission in mind. That facet of it all, that's the one that almost makes me tear up. Is there anything you want to say to past, present, future Sound of Fury fans? Keep bringing down Armageddon's parade. I like it. <laughs> All right, Jay, thank you so much for doing this. Um.